Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Finishing Blow. Before I even get started, holy crap, last week was really long. I have no idea how I talked that long. Actually, I do. I mentioned certain people's names over and over again, and I think it made me go over on even my own projected time. So this week, I'm not gonna mention any names whatsoever. I'm kidding, I'll have to, but it's not gonna be as bad because now there's not three ladies that I'm gonna get confused. Um, This week was weird. Like, I know I say that a lot, but like, Earlier in the week, there was like nothing, and then at the end, just freaking blitzed with media info. So, I'm gonna try my best to like condense it all for you in case you guys don't like the long videos. I don't know. I don't know how long this one's gonna be since I just started it and I don't have a timer. Unless I can predict the future. It's topics like that that get me off subject, but it's also fun. Okay, so starting off the week, I posted a trailer for the first Spanish language MMA film called Cage Fight. If you watch the actual trailer for it, it doesn't, I don't know, it's kind of like it could be either or. It looks very um, low budget, but that could be both good and bad. Like it reminds me most of Blood and Bone. If you guys have seen that, if you haven't, you should. But that's kind of the vibe I get from it. Now, they already said that they're trying to make it a trilogy, the production company that's like supporting this movie. And, um, I'm really interested to see how it does because it's so niche like not only is it a martial arts movie but it's in Spanish and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because there's probably more native Spanish speakers than there are say Indonesian speakers for the raid um, but the difference is kind of like publicity it's if they're gonna let the Spanish community know that this movie exists and I'm really curious to see how it does I'll try and grab a copy of it for myself when it comes out but it's just, I don't know, it's either gonna be good or it's gonna be bad. And the thing that I'm worried about is at least they're planning a trilogy. I don't know if that means that all three stories are gonna be connected or if they're just gonna shoot three MMA films. But if they do one and it doesn't do well, at least they're not gonna just cut it off, hopefully. But anyways, check out through trailer, uh, see for yourself what you think. It's called Cage Fight. Uh, yeah, I posted it on Sunday, so. All right, moving on was a post about Unlucky Stars, which it's been a while since I posted about it. I posted their trailer when they first did their fundraiser, and now it's coming to a close. If you haven't heard about Unlucky Stars yet, I don't know how that's happened, but um, I, I'm pretty sure I posted a trailer for it. I posted a ton of other videos as well, including the uh, final fight from Loco, which I still think is awesome. But if you don't know anything about it, Vlad's choreographing it, um, Dennis is directing it, and it's really hard to explain it. Like, just watch the trailer and you'll get a feel for what the movie's like. It's very uh, goofy, but the choreography is very, very solid. Old school Hong Kong style action. It looks really sweet. But anyways, long story short, they're doing a fundraiser. And it's got about, I want to say either three or four days left um, from today. Which, I think it's four when I checked it this morning before I went out to film. But I have a feeling it's three at the same time because... It doesn't add up like one of my days is off because I said eight days and if you subtract that you should only have three days left so anyways three or four days if you haven't donated yet please donate um, they are still fairly shy of their goal but any bit ha helps and uh, apparently I can't talk English and plus the fact that if you donate 20 bucks you can buy the movie while supporting it which is kind of like a win-win so it's definitely worth a look at least if you haven't donated or even if you could help spread the word for this last little push they'd appreciate it I'm sure okay so moving on after that I found some images of Vincent Zhao from the uh, special identity film before he left it of course um, I think there's three either three or four with him and Donnie um, just kind of showing you what kind of character he would have been it looks cool like it looks like it would have been so cool to see them face off and it's really a shame that it's kind of like falling apart now but at the same time, when's the last time you've heard anything about Special Identity, positive or negative, which I think is good. I think that means that like the team is really putting their nose to the grindstone and they're getting back into the group of things and they're going to show everybody, hey, this movie's still going to be awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to the 10 minute fight scene with uh, Donnie and Andy. I think that's going to be really awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's good that they're not trash talking each other anymore. I, I, there's still kind of like little rumblings, but nothing so big as to break like the Chinese news anymore. 
So hopefully it's done and past us now, which only took what, a couple weeks? But that's a good thing. I mean, it's a martial arts movie and that's what it should be known for first and foremost. Anyways, all right, so moving on after that, I've got, um, I posted some pictures from Jackie's website of him being in, uh, oh no, I'm gonna mess up the name of the country. I think it's like Vanuatu, however you pronounce it. That's kind of how it's spelled. But he's down in like the Pacific, I believe. Don't judge me on that. It's, it, I think it's the Pacific. But he was filming that, uh, starting to film the four minute long stunt sequence. And if you actually look at the pictures, he's got this, he's at the volcano and he's got two stuffed bears, the L A and Z Y, which is lazy. He's, I think he's doing that for some like charity event where he takes those bears with him wherever he goes, takes pictures with them, and then he's gonna like, um, auction them off if you're wondering why but I still think it's really funny that Jackie took two stuffed pandas to an active volcano and posed a picture with them but uh, check out the, po the post if you want to see those uh, I think there's two of them where one of them he literally like sat them <laughs> on the volcano and like you know how hard it is to sit a stuffed animal that makes me sound weird but you guys know what I'm talking about right like they don't sit very well but first somehow he got two of them to sit next to each other and took a picture of them on this volcano. Jackie's crazy. But anyways, um, thank you Evil Dollar, by the way, for mentioning that apparently he's already in Latvia, which is supposed to be where the final, I think they're wrapping up in Latvia, which they still have a couple months left. So I don't know if he was just there training or if they're gonna go back and forth or what it is. But if you click on the link that Evil Dollar gave, you can see Jackie doing some like, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of like skydiving prep. Like they're in one of those big like, uh, I guess like, it's not a wind tunnel, it shoots up as opposed to across. But you can see him kind of like learning the physics of it, like if you move your arms this way, you float this way and whatnot like that. It's pretty interesting. I'm kind of hoping for like a, like an homage to Operation Condor, like when he was fighting in that wind tunnel. Like if they pay homage to that in some like Jackie Chan fashion, I think that'd be awesome. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But Anyways, you can check that out, and then Zeno uh, also pointed out that I forgot to mention it was for Chinese Zodiac. I got so excited that I completely forgot to mention the movie, so thanks for pointing that out as well. That was my bad. Okay, so moving on after all of that was Thursday was kind of when things started getting really crazy. Like, I just started finding all this new info. So I'm going to start with the shorter ones first because it's easier to do it that way. Black Dynamite 2 is probably going to happen. Um, it's not 100% set in stone yet, but Michael Jai White has said that he wants to do it. It's kind of one of those cult classics, like, I mean, it did even get a cartoon on Cartoon Network, so it's a cult classic, but is it enough to net a sequel? I don't know. But then again, like, Undisputed 2 and 3 came out, and they did pretty good. So I myself have not seen Black Dynamite yet. It's one of those I've been meaning to watch. And I need to do a review for even um, just to see what it's like. I know a lot of people love it, but I need to watch it. But anyways, the fact that Michael J. White wants to do a sequel is probably good news, especially for fans of the film. And then also, what else did I post on there? Okay, a teaser trailer for The Four, which is directed by Gordon Chan. It's got Anthony Wong, uh, Colin Cho. Um, who else is in there? couple other people I forgot who they were at right? Crystal Crystal Liu she's from uh, Forbidden Kingdom if you remember her from that which is I think the only movie I remember her from but anyways it's like a Hong Kong style like zombie movie it looks cool in a couple different ways like I can't help but feel the Mr. Vampire vibe from the movie when I'm watching the trailer which is fine but probably those are the only types of zombie movies that I can watch because I'm a wuss so I can watch people martial arting martial arting is that a verb their way through like hordes of zombies and um apparently each person is going to have their own like special ability which i think would be kind of cool but check out the teaser trailer it's definitely at least worth a look and i think since it's gordon chan we can expect good things but we'll see i want like a full legit trailer like it's only like 30 seconds long i need more teasers teasing me it's not right okay and then lastly on thursday was jetley's birthday he turned 49, which a lot of people cannot believe. Um, most people think he's younger than that, and most people don't know Jackie's even older than Jet is. But anyways, Jet turned 49, and um, 
celebrate his birthday. I don't, I found a post on it, but I don't remember seeing too much about it. Like I couldn't get a picture to load. But anyways, happy birthday, Jet. You're still awesome. Still beat me down, kill a man with a pair of chopsticks, which he did. And um, I still think he's got a couple good films left in him. I know that like, Flying Swords is meh. And uh, Sorcerer and the White Snake, I thought was okay, but I can see why a lot of people didn't like it because it's not what they expected. So hopefully Jet will do like a full on uh, action movie. Flying Swords was just, read my review from last week. Um, yeah, it was meh. That's literally in my review, it was just meh. And then lastly, actually not lastly, second to lastly, I posted two things yesterday. I had to do a bonus post because I found a ton of character posters for The Expendables 2. So I'm not going to be able to name everybody, but I mean there's like Stallone, Terry Crews, uh, Bruce Willis, Arnold, Jet, Yunnan. Um, I know there's a bunch of people I'm missing. Mickey, Mickey Rourke? No, not Mickey Rourke. Couture's in there. I'm just going to stop naming things. No, Mickey Rourke's not in there. He might be in the movie, but he's not. A poster and also there's no Scott Atkins which I thought was really weird um because he's supposed to play one of the henchmen but I don't know I really want to see a Scott Atkins like in the movie like I haven't seen single footage of him in that film like people there's been like fan made ones that just splice him in but I haven't seen any footage with him like a picture or um actual footage of Scott Atkins which is weird like I think that fans would want to see that anyways Character posters look sick. If you haven't seen it yet, click it. I just, it was a quick post. I just did real quick. Just put all the pictures there so you guys could see it. Cause I was working on my review, which is an awesome segue into the actual review that I did, which was Fist of Legend, uh, Jet Li's movie, which I thought was appropriate given the fact that his birthday was the day before I posted the review. Um, I have seen the movie before and it was just one that I wanted to review. And plus I, uh, I think I already know what I have to review next week. and. It's not going to be pretty. A lot of you guys are probably going to hate me for doing it. I hate myself for even considering the fact of reviewing this movie. But uh, you'll see next week what I'm going to do. It's <laughs> So I figured I'd start off with a good movie. And then that way the movie that I watch this coming week won't be so bad. But uh, I think that's it. I'm going to cut this one quick. What if it's not even quick? What if it's still relatively long? Um... I think I'm getting too comfortable to vlog. But anyways, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on movies you want me to review, feel free to post in the comments or video response or anything, uh, whether it's on YouTube or on Marsh Fresh Movie Junkie. And I'll, I'll try to take into consideration anything that I can get my hands on. Uh, as long as you guys want me to review it, I don't care. So, as long as it's martial arts movie related. I've had people suggest like horror films because they know I don't like scary things. Won't be doing that, but Otherwise, if it's a martial arts film, I can definitely try to get my hands on it and post a review. Whether you agree with it or not, I can't guarantee. But, uh, I think that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, hope you guys had an awesome week. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.